What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. See what everybody's doing. Good jump, jumped up on my, change it up in the back here a little bit, but I kinda wanna get your intake, so I'm gonna actually ask again here in a minute or so. Once I get a few people joining, I'm at a standstill as far as to what the next RC car will be. I already got some other ones lined up, but in the meantime, I wanna kinda get some ideas uh, with Team Corrali, just to see their two-wheel drive, see what it's all about, uh, you know, because people are still kind of interested in those, so I'm kind of interested in, in them as well. <laughs> so, and kind of like a two-wheel drive basher, that's why I kind of want to, so I can't, let's give that a try, see what's up. What's going on? What's going on, John? Kodiak 404. What's up, bang your head? What's going on, man? Appreciate you guys joining in. Let's see, Mr. Lopez, what's going on? Hello. Garrett, what's up, man? How's everybody doing? Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. <laughs> Is it on? Can you hear me? Let me make sure that it's on. Yeah, you guys can hear me because I can hear myself when I did it. So I appreciate you guys joining in. But yeah, um, I want to make sure this thing, yeah, it's, it's cracking. I think we're good. So I got a monitor back here. I'm going to do more stuff with this monitor, but obviously it just decided to go off right now. But it's Team Corrali. So I don't want to do anything. But maybe you can see like in the subject line, if you haven't checked them out, you can always go to our website too, omgrc.com. And you can check out those ones I'm talking about. It's going to be the Monox, the Triton, and also the Mammoth. It's going to be those three different vehicles. I'm looking at pretty much going to be on the brushless side. I want something a little bit quick. So... That's where I'm trying to get a little bit of input from you guys. I'll be honest with you too, the one I'm looking at, uh, I can even see this, make sure people are joining in or at least saying something. Um, check this Triton. I'm just looking to see, eh, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. But anyway, I'm having a nightmare, a nightmare day, but I, haven't crashed my rig yet. Oh, so I'm good. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad as far as that one, Darren. So good that you haven't crashed anything as of yet. <laughs> Today. <laughs> I was actually... That's oh, nah, up there. I was running my my crawler truck that's sitting up here. I put a different system in it. I put the brushless system in it that was in my axe. And I got to say, man, just pushing that trigger and pulling the trigger just a tiny little bit, how how slow it crawls compared to what I've had before in the past where it took a little bit more time to actually get it to move. Uh, what's up, Jeff C? Yeah, what's going on, man? I don't know where, uh, what's his name as far as the uh, Star Wars collector. <laughs> I know you guys are always talking. It's cool, man. Yeah, I appreciate you joining in, all you guys joining in. Make sure you smash that thumbs up too if you don't mind. And, uh, Got any input? Let's see. I'm on my way back to pick up the kids. Okay, yeah, it's kind of like around that time for school, right? I'm hearing the, the bell go off next to us here because I'm next to a school. Anyhow, so I can hear that thing going off. Monday surprise. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was going to do something on Sunday, and I decided, um, nah, I'm just going to, you know, forget about it and just do it on Monday. So that's why I was trying to get a little bit of input from you guys as far as if anybody's like, oh, yeah, I like the Team Corrali as far as like to see one of those cars, those two-wheel drive trucks, the 110 scales on your channel. And, yeah, I like to see, you know, like I said before, like a brushless one because I don't know about a brushed one so much. I can get one of them if that's what people would want to see. So I'm just kind of looking. I wish there was a way you could put a poll in here to, uh, you know, like a rating. I don't think there is, at least that, not yet. I know I can put one afterwards, like in the community, and see if, what people will say, like, oh, yeah, this car, this car, this car, and see which one. So that's what I'm trying to aim for. I was actually trying to order it today. I'm looking for Team oh, team Red Cat. Oh, yeah, this the Seth, do you have them? I don't have that one. But I don't think it's Team Red Cat. I think that's like Team Magic is what you're talking about. Because um, Red Cat, they've kind of branched off from that. But, um, yeah, it would be Team Magic, the, the Seth. <laughs> I have a poll. <laughs> when I said that, I was like, yeah, someone's going to say something on that one. <laughs> Garrett, yep. It's cold in, Ca in Cali, 45 at, at noon. Wow, sucks. Yeah, for sure. 45, man. It's pretty cool. That's for sure. 
I was talking to our rep at HRP, man. They was like, oh, we got like 10 feet of snow. I think they're in Utah. I don't know if you guys are in anybody in Utah, but it was something like that. And so he wasn't liking me. I was like, I only got sunshine outside. There's nothing in my way as far as no snow, anything like that. Um, let's see. I bet you most of you guys are on your more than likely on your mobile, I'd imagine, right? And either you're going somewhere or what have you as far as like, um, <laughs> what was I thinking about? Bang your head. So, uh, Darren, Mr. Bang Your Head, have you looked at any of the Team Crowley stuff? They're two-wheel drive or you guys mostly? So, this might be another idea too. It's just that, you know, are most of you guys, I'm heading to Utah. Oh, right on. Pick up my RC car. I need a bunch of them. It'll be free shipping, right? You gonna be down in, in Florida, Johnny? We'll see. <laughs> Mr. RC, hey man, I'm looking for a FG M3 BMW two-wheel drive gas. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think we don't have that. Who 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 makes that? I like the Python. Yeah, I mean the Python's cool, Garrett. On that one, I'm just looking for. I mean, I, the Python pretty much gonna be. I mean, it's a little bit different. I get it. But, you know, as far as I have the uh, Kronos right here, Kronos, I don't know why I say it. Um, but anyway, the Kronos. So I have that one, and I'm not, like, it's kind of, it's similar enough to the same chassis where I'm like, kind of like, I don't really want to get all of those cars, and yet this one of them you can just pretty much swap the body on. Yeah, like the Dementor, that one too. <laughs> you guys are all going for the 1.8 scale. So is 1.8 scale is kind of like where it's at, right? Uh, the 110 scale. I mean, I like 18 scale as well, but I was trying to get something like a 110 scale, you know, a little bit cheaper. <laughs> so I was. Um, so, yeah, as far as that one goes, that's why I was wanting to see if anybody. Yeah, it's not. They're, they're 10 scale trucks. This, because I'm going to be getting 10 scale anyhow come this month. I'm going to probably have some team associated stuff. Basically, it's going to be the dragster. And then they have their 4x4 truck. So at that point, I'm kind of like. Yeah, kind of going to be, I mean, I really want one. Hopefully, I could get the OMG RC discount. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know how much of a discount I'm going to do on the one tenth. Now, as far as on the one um, eighth scale, I can get a little bit of a discount on that one. But uh, get the Mammoth. So, yeah, the Mammoth. Let's see. The, well, now I've got screen, screen. What is the Mammoth one? Is that there? That's the bug. Is that that? I'm trying to think which one that one. Okay. So the Mammoth. Okay. I think some people were asking about that one. That's the one. Yeah. Anyway, it's kind of like that off-roading Baja looking somewhat of a truck too. I know I'm like watching, you're watching TV that I'm watching the TV, <laughs> but I was just trying to uh, pause it on that particular truck. Anyhow, like the Mammoth, the Mammoth. So can't get copyright for that, can you? But anyway, that's like the Mammoth right there. That's what I was looking at. Um, let's see here. Get the mammoth. If if I did, oh, if, if I did, I'd be. Oh my, Joe, can you make the volume louder from your side? Um, what? You can't hear me very well. I don't know. Is it not coming in? I'm gonna. You let me know about the mic, cause I got the mic here before it was further away. Only thing is. But no, I figured this mic is pretty sensitive, so it just depends on, it might be fairly loud. I just don't want the clip where it gets all distorted or whatever. So let me, I'm gonna check on my side too. I'm, not, I'm just gonna check it, just an audio check. I'm gonna check on my side too. Mm -hmm. Check, check. I mean, it seems okay. I, mean, I don't know if it's, the mic is louder. Oh, loud and clear, man. Okay, appreciate that one, Mr. RC. Um, okay, yeah, I can't adjust the mic anymore on that part of it. I thought I had the camera actually a little bit closer than what I normally do, but I got the mic. I mean, I can bring it closer. I just don't know how much it's gonna, it's gonna be too loud. Usually, microphone check one two one two. 
So I know, yeah, last time I did it, my wife was like, oh, it seemed like you were kind of, you could hear the room more or less. It was a little bit too open. So I was like, all right, so I'll move it because I had it more or less to the back of the, the truck there, car, whatever. So I figure now it should be all right. But yeah, I just want to kind of, I can hear, but not, oh, not as good as your laptop. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know how it is because if. I'm not going to go over here, like right there because I think it will be too loud. You guys can let me know. Here, I can move it. But I don't want to get hung up on just the mic part of it, really. I'll move it closer and then you guys can let me know on that one. Because if I, I just, before I had it sitting right over here and then when someone was like, man, is that your laptop fan that keeps going? I was like, oh yeah, my bad, dude. <laughs> so then I moved it. Um, Bluetooth streaming over here. All right, cool, dude. Um, what's up, Martin? Appreciate you joining in. I'm looking for the about oh the EPX. Do you you have those? Yeah, I definitely have them. Um, as a roller, no body. Yeah. You um yeah, I can get them, or we have them on our website at omgrc.com. They have them right there. Um, would we'll check on my phone to see exactly. Uh, you know, if they're in stock or whatnot, but we do have them. So, yeah. But yeah, we have the EPX Garrett. Uh, but I know some people have been buying them because of um, who is a uh, gap review from A to Z. So he was doing some like little contest or whatnot or some kind of um, some kind of deal like that. So he's like, yeah, yeah. Um, so he got one from me and, and one of his other boys got one from me as well. So I was like, that's cool, man. I definitely appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of see what... Um, I'm not getting too much on the feedback when it comes to the Team Corrali. I think it's so new, and it's more or less going to be like, let's get one and then see what's up. And you can make a decision. Because I, I think for the most part, a lot of the chassis are the same. I saw a little bit of the difference between like the Mammoth and the uh, Monox and the Mammoth or, or whatever, or the Triton, I should say. I just picked up the Horizon Hobby Forged MP112 scale hobby yesterday. That's cool. Is that uh? Oh, is that the the Grave Digger? I don't know if that's the Grave Digger monster truck that you're talking about. Because that one was, well, I mean Horizon, call it yeah, anyhow with Axial. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I love. Oh, you like, yeah, as far as that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I like that one. Um, it's in good shape, too, because I haven't, I flipped it once, but it was in the sand, so it just got, like, hardly got any scratches on it, so it's really clean. I do like it. It's going to be, like, what their dragster is going to be. It's going to be that same chassis. It's the uh, Team Associated DR10. Yeah, their dragster 10. I like it. Uh, so I'll be getting one of those. What do you guys think about the HPI Racing RS4 Sport 3 Cre Oh, the Creator Edition kits? I thought about those before. Um, what I forget. They're like what under a little under 200 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. We do carry them as well. Um, but I haven't got one. I looked at who was it? Hemi Storm did one of those creators as well on YouTube. Um, you know, I think he I think he did a Porsche or something like that. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Um, bang your head, Jeff. See, that's an amazing car. Um, let's see, Jeff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The crater, but yeah, that kit looks pretty good. Uh, hopefully, HPI will keep cranking out cars <laughs> and parts more on the parts side right this second. I need a part for my car for my HPI so I can get rid of it. <laughs> that, that's the um, it's sitting way up in the corner, it's been it's in timeout. Anyways, this is a jump shot 2.0 or B2. But yeah, um, just thing on. <laughs> All right, so we got one as far as from my, my cousin. It was the only one that actually said something in regards to it. Oh, Big Papa's in the house. What's going on, man? Let's see. Uh, so Mr. Big Papa, maybe you can chime in as well. Um. You know, that. have you looked at the Team Corrali when it comes to any of the Mammoth, the Triton, or the, yeah, Mammoth, Triton, what's the other one? <laughs> I don't even remember now. Anyway. 
Um, what is the other one? The Mammoth? The Triton? <laughs> That's pretty bad. I already forgot what it was. I was just trying to see what it... Uh, but yeah, the Mammoth, I guess. That one looks pretty cool. I've been looking, I've been looking, bro, but nothing makes me think better than than my armors. <laughs> yeah, I think outside the box, man. I mean, that's, I guess, the main thing is, too, I've had my first, oh, the indoor race day, Saturday. Cool, man. Oh, I think, Jeff, see, you were talking about that. How did that all go? Let's see. I came in third. Right on. Nice. Novice. The novice class for your Rustler VLX 2 by or the two-wheel drive. Awesome. That's cool, man. Especially, I mean, just running your first time. How many people are typically in the race? Is it maybe about like, what is it, about like six or something like that? I don't know. I don't think they fill it up too much because that'd be kind of <laughs> mayhem right there, wouldn't it? As far as running it. That's cool. I wouldn't mind doing, I guess, like some kind of like novice class as well, just to kind of run around, you know, take a car that you don't really care about. <laughs> you can kind of beat it up a little bit. Is that a dirt track, Jeff C? Oh, three to eight. Oh, okay, per race. Okay. So not too bad. I guess it depends on how many people show up that night too. So three to eight, eight, man, that'd be a that'd be a pretty loaded field there. Be crowded. <laughs> oh, it was carpet. Oh, that's nice. So you, at least you get nice traction on it then. I like that. Yeah, the carpet tracks I like because you know you don't get them destroyed too quick. Let's see big. So, yeah, I pretty much I feel the consensus that, um, you know, as far as when it comes to Team Corral, it's pretty much like uh, crickets, I'm assuming. So, all right. Well, because I was looking at some other stuff, too. So I had to save my money, apparently, <laughs> on that one. Unless Team Corral is going to send me one. So I'll skip it for right now. Unless, I'll make a poll anyhow just to see what people say. I did one before, and we'll see what people say about it. But I just want something, you know, I'm just looking, f I'm just looking something for something different, to be honest with you. That's the main thing. Uh, when it comes to driving these RC cars, I just want something that's something new, fresh. People are like, hey, yeah, I want to look at that one. So, but uh, I'm not going to sweat it, really. Because, I mean, I've been looking at it and I thought about buying one before, too. And I kind of hesitated because it is two-wheel drive. And I'm not a huge fan of the two-wheel drive. But nonetheless, I kind of felt like it would be cool to kind of get one of the Team Corrali ones just to see what's up. So, yeah, okay. Well, that pretty much lets me know, bro. <laughs> Let's see. I'm liking my own. Um, wow, you raced uh, Frankenstein Mobile. Oh the, oh, the 144 Jeff C. Oh, okay, he's talking. Let's see here. I had fun. I'm not a technical racer. I usually just go. Oh, okay, you just go to go to the park or, or the parking lot. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much. I don't, I just kind of do that as well. I don't really care to race so much, but it is kind of fun to race once in a while. Um, even if it's with your friends or something like that. We set up some cones or whatever and just kind of run around. That's kind of fun. But it is nice. I guess the main thing is, too, because I... When I would, you know, if you race and you break something, you don't have a part for it, it kind of stinks. What's up, Fresh Squeeze RC? All right, so maybe I get an answer from this guy here, my buddy, <laughs> as far as that one goes, too. Mr. Fresh Squeeze, Brandon. Um, what do you think about the, the two wheel drive Corrali cars? Should I get one of those? A Mammoth, a Triton, or the Monox? I think, yeah, I figured that one out. So that's what I was trying to, I was trying to, Figure out if I should get any of those cars or just kind of like scratch it all and just move on. It's pricey. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesse, it's pricey. It's pricey to race like I do on Saturdays. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit more fresh. What's up, man? Uh, okay. Wait, Jesse, how did you like the 144? I get one. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, as far as <laughs> two-wheel drive is fun for wheelies. Yeah. That's kind of it, right? Because you can't put the power down too much on them. So I'm not 100% sure on it either. Too much fun. 
Okay, so I was, I'm just going to put it out there because I mean, it's live right now anyway. But um, I know how you, Fresh Squeeze RC, you do burnouts and things like that. And I know like Idaho, RC Dad, he does them as well. So I almost, I thought about pulling the trigger. It's a Honda Civic front wheel drive RC car. And I was like, it's a 10th scale and do front wheel drive burnouts. What do you think about that? <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? Like, oh, you're doing burnouts front wheel drive. That's funny. I mean, it's set up for a front wheel drive. It'd kind of be cool to have a front wheel drive RC car just for the heck of it, just to see how it works. Dude, do it. Yeah. So, yeah, I was, I was like, they only have a couple left, too. And I was like, dang, I kind of want one. I think it'd be dope. I could go ahead and just end this 10th scale so I can burn tires and it'd be a lot cheaper. But, so, yeah, I kind of felt more on that. I was like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Cool to uh, get a 10th scale front wheel drive car, like I said. It's like there's only a few of them, too. So I was like, ah, oh, that'd be kind of dope. Best go with your own. Yeah. No one else's opinions matter. Yeah, I kind of like getting feedback from you guys, too. But I know everybody has, like, their own side to everything. It's just like, hey, let's just see what you do. Like, so just typically most people are just kind of like, just go buy something. Hey, we'll watch it and see if it's any good or whatever and let you know. Go with your gut. Yeah, that's fine. I kind of figure as far as that one. Yeah. Um, let's see. What's what did you say? Something. Whoa, man, Jeff. Really, thirty-five bucks to go race one race. And ten for each. Each after. Wow. Yeah, man. You guys are ballers out there. I think we paid. I think it was like ten bucks or something like. It was like ten bucks for the night, to go race where I'm at. There's a Quaker Steak and Lube, and they do outdoor racing. Now, I mean, that's indoor, it's carpet, and but, dang, 35 bucks. There must be quite a few people that they can get that kind of money for. <laughs> Martin, get it? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so, boom. I've got more response from that one than I did as far as the other one. Caught me by surprise not doing it again soon. Oh, yeah, I bet, man. Jeff, whew, 35 bucks. Like, man, I could have got... That's the thing, you know... I'm always counting like, hey, how can I, I want to make my money go as far as possible. And, you know, with these are kind of whatever. But as far as when it comes to, yeah, I mean, if you go racing, what I'm getting at as far as to go racing, it's like, oh, man, like I broke my car. And then it's like, oh, I'm already out that money. And I only got to run one shot or whatever like that unless you have the part. So, but it's like, again, sometimes like just kind of trading that for the experience just to go ahead and have fun. But 35 bucks, man, that's, that's too much. That is too much for sure. I'm waiting for a trophy or something. Like, are you guys going to hand out an RC car? How many people we got here? So, something. <laughs> Joe just. <laughs> Shot collars. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to have to do that as far as when it comes to it. But yeah, I'll probably do that anyway then. I'll probably order one up. Get it. That's probably why. Yeah, but it, yeah, Jeff, that's that's super expensive. <laughs> Freaking bang your head, man! <laughs> Crazy. I see how how they play it. Monopoly on the track. Yeah, it's just taking everybody out. Well, especially when it comes. Well, I mean, when I used to race too, people would try to hit you. For, you know, they just kind of try to pit maneuver you or whatever, put you into the wall. I was like, I don't think so. So, uh, no. But they weren't they weren't too bad about it. But that's kind of just that's just shady stuff when they try to do that to you. It's like I don't like that. This is race, man. But um, I mean, when you're kind of in the newbie area there too, it kind of like you're expecting people just to kind of smash into you and whatever else. So it's kind of like destruction derby more than it's a race. But it's still fun. I like watching them. I, like I'll go to the track every so often. I'll just watch uh, you know the novice class or whatever, and they're running them. They're jumping over each other. They're jumping through over. Uh, they have PVC pipes. And they're all over the place. I was like, it's pretty funny. It's comical. But, uh, I mean, hey, you got to start somewhere anyhow. Oh, I was watching the Snowbird Nationals. I don't know if any of you guys watched the Snowbird Nationals, but there was a little kid, three years old, and he was running the, what was that? Ah, I was trying to think of the car that it is, too. Oh, the Legend. So they were, he was running the little Legend. I was like, man, pretty good. His, his dad was actually... Uh, racing as well so but yeah runs in the blood i was like that's cool three years old man and he was handling his own pretty well what's up eddie 
Appreciate you joining in, man. Just uh, chilling. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, definitely not a Wednesday night or a Friday night, so we don't figure we wouldn't get many people. But um, yeah, I like it, small like this. And like I said, I was gonna do a video. I was like, I got my, my buddy Brian's gonna probably be by tomorrow. I'm, we're trying to do, I wanna do some t-shirts, even just for myself, and then if, if they come out well and I like them, then I'll see if I can order more of them and, and show you guys, first of all, see what you think about them. I might do something like kind of like that throwback. Uh, I'll probably, I might do some of them like the, the logo that we already use already, but I kind of like the um, graffiti one a little bit, but I'm going to do it super clean. And there's not going to be any background to it, obviously, anything like that. But I might do kind of like a silver and blue kind of fade into it. Probably like on a black shirt because I mean there's no point in getting white shirts when you're in the hobby stuff you're working with tools and grease on you or whatever so I'll probably do something like you know like a black and gray shirt would be ideal man everything's good let's see Joe send me a sample XXX <laughs> yeah right so yeah we'll have to uh, we'll do something like that as far as I might do something like I throw it into a video I'm, I'm trying to get some other ideas all good I would Oh, let's see here, Martin. I would buy a t-shirt. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. It's all about the hoodie. Oh, yeah, the hoodies. I like those, too, as far as the hoodies. I've seen some that were camouflaged or whatever. They were not like your normal, like those greens, but they were the uh, more of the white and grays. They look kind of cool on that one with the hoodie. And then do some... The thing is, here in Florida, like I can't get into hoodies because, well, it's Florida, so it doesn't get too cold here at all. Typically, when it gets cold, I'm like... Ah, it's so nice out. I don't typically wear a jacket for very long. And you, normally you don't because by noon it's already kind of gotten warmer. But um, I do like hoodies anyhow. I've, I've had a few of them already. But I've had never had thing, anything with my logo on it. So t-shirts are pretty much the, the good to go. And then hoodies would be kind of cool as well. I would like them. Especially if it, if it stayed a little bit cooler here. But a hoodie would be dope. And what's that one? You got thumbs up and twister. <laughs> right on, bang your head. So we're going to have to, I don't know, man, you bang your head. You got to, let's see here. I'm getting Big Papa a t-shirt made up soon. If, you're, if yours is nice, I'll send you one. Oh, okay, right on. Cool, man, I appreciate that. Big Papa. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, Big Papa t-shirt on there. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool idea. Um, I was thinking about getting some t-shirts done by, oh, for your detailing business, but I need more exposure first. Uh, yeah, I mean, Eddie, when it comes to it, that's my main thing. I mean, I might, I don't have a lot of subscribers or whatever like that. I mean, not like it's not a huge channel or anything, but I just want to kind of see what people, like I have to be into my own logo, right? So I want to make sure that the logo, I, like, I mean, I like my logo that I have. I don't feel like it's doing its justice as far as to make sure that it's OMG RC because of the lines in the center of it kind of break up the OMG and then the RC is good and bad, I guess. But I want to make sure that it's all together. Just like I do now, I have like, I changed the name on our YouTube where it's OMG RC and then there's no like hyph and there's no underscore or anything like that. But then just says calm on it. I don't know what it is with OMG. I have to figure out a little bit more with uh, YouTube because I don't still don't like that. I like this to be OMGRC, but they want your first name and last name. I'm not sure why can't I just have like business and then change it just that's my business name. So I'm not sure why mine's is, why I have to do it that way. And unless someone actually knows what I'm talking about and say, oh yeah, you could do it a different way because right now I've only found it to, to flip it around like this. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. Big Papa knows what's up. <laughs> oh, let's see here. No, Joe. He said, if you're nice. Oh, if I'm nice. Yeah, <laughs> if you're nice. Right? If I'm nice. I guess I'm not nice, huh? Well, I mean, Big Papa shows up here. Must be doing something all right. <laughs> and he's got a fan base already with inside here. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, I definitely appreciate you guys, man. It's definitely awesome. I like that. Um, 
you know, starting to get like more familiar faces. So it's pretty cool starting to see more of the same guys. So I definitely like that. It sucks that you guys are all over the place. Like, like oh, yeah, there's some other people like, yeah, I'm in St. Petersburg as well. Or, you know, like I'm in Tampa. And it's like, cool, man. And then we had all kind of get together. It would be cool. Stinks sometimes that it's cool that everybody's from all over the place. But on the other hand, it's like, man, I'd like to hang out with some of you guys, man. So it's, it's one of those deals. Yeah, right? Yeah, Papa, you can post. Well, is that it? Big Papa Paul's Radio Controlled Adventures. It's right there. You can just click on his name, and that would be his channel. Uh, Jeff C. Just like yours channel is Jeff C, right? Got quiet real quick. Ding, ding, ding. What about 10 scale? Where's the 10 scale guy? 10 scale garage. <laughs> Um, you, any of you guys, okay, so we, if you got into arm, you know, as far as bashing and stuff like that, any of you guys are into just, uh, scale crawlers or anything like that? I know, uh, what could you, at 7-Eleven, we can all, yeah, Slurpees and hang out at 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's all right, Jeff C. You're like, duh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, it's all good. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, Slurpees. I haven't had a Slurpee in a while, man. Sounds pretty good. Quick question. Is WD-40 good or bad for RCs? I mean, I see people... Slurpees. <laughs> yeah, Slurpee used to. Can you come up and hang out with me? Yeah, I can. You know, I was thinking about it as far as Johnny. I was thinking about that as well. So if I, anytime I go somewhere, I'm like, okay, what else? I got to make the most of whatever I can do when I'm there. I know you're on vacation and stuff like that sometimes, but most of the time you're not back until March if you're truck driving right now, Johnny. So I would say that'd be kind of cool. Speaking of cool, you got to figure out how cold it is there because, you know, as far as the wifey, she don't do anything over under 70, seems like. So I don't know if that would be a trip for later or to say, hey, I'm going up to Kentucky and uh, hold down the fort. So uh, we'll have to see something like that. Um, it would be kind of cool. I would like it. I like it. Oh, let's see. Mr. Phil, Mr. RC there. Let's see. Phil the cow. <laughs> uh, you, okay. So you were thinking as far as, uh, Mr. Phil, you're thinking, um, the Monox. So you like the Monox. I got a love. Oh yeah. Yeah. Filthy's name. <laughs> You like that? Get the cow. Uh, let's see. Let's meet up at 7 Eleven. Yeah, I know. My stops when I make it to. Oh, Miami. Oh, right on. 7 Eleven is your, your, your first stop for Miami. So, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I think I just usually just call him Phil. I don't go by the whole thing there. But yeah. Oh, is it still there? No, it wasn't there anymore since I got the screen. So I'm usually going to have, I'm um, going to be working on with probably Brian tomorrow, probably with RC stuff anyhow. I think he's going to bring some stuff over anyway. But I want to, uh, yeah, I want to kind of, I want, I want this month, I want to get uh, graphics. That's my main thing. I got to start, I want a, a good graphic. I want at least two different types of logos. One that I can have right now, and then definitely another logo, like I said, with the uh, graffiti Oakland, California. Okay. Go. <laughs> That's uh, Oakland. Niners suck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the 49ers? Man, my aunt would be like, oh my God, I can't believe you don't like the 49ers. Well, that was a long time ago, as far as when it used to be. Again, I used to watch uh, football when I was younger. I kind of that stuff cumber. They lost you. Yeah, I'm sure, but it means still what matter. I mean, my main thing was like I didn't. The 49ers didn't mean nothing to me now or back in the day, but it was more for my aunt, uh, aunt and stuff like that. She was a uh, like Joe Montana, so that tells you something. It's been a long time. <laughs> Cause that yeah, I just don't get into it. I don't watch any sports, to be honest with you. Pretty much the only thing I'm, I'm thinking about is like, oh, I want to RC stuff. What can I do? 
RC stuff, <laughs> and yeah, pretty much the main thing. Trying to figure out something. Yeah. Motorsports. Motorsports, yeah. Uh, who was that? What? I like the, like, as far as, like, what is that? Like, the Baja stuff. I watched something, but there was this guy. He's on YouTube. You didn't have a choice at Uncle Bill's. Yeah, you didn't have a choice at Uncle Bill's, did you? Yeah. Yeah. It was either the 49ers. If, if I was there, they didn't have any kind of party. That was kind of weird, but I figured it would have got some kind of party announcement, but there was no bucks or anything like that. Excuse me. Um, so we'll have to, I don't think there was any like teams that they were really uh, rooting for, but sometimes we'll have cookouts for the uh, Super Bowl. I was like, was the Super Bowl yesterday? Like, yeah, it was. I was like, okay, well, I guess we didn't have anything going on. How many cars do you have? Uh, not enough yet. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Erman. So yeah, not enough RC cars yet. Uh, I think there's there's definitely over twenty. I think it's close to a little over twenty five. And I'm trying to right now. I've only been into the hobby for not really that long. To be, I mean, back into the hobby or the channel. I should say the channel. So, but yeah, and I keep rotating them. So I'm gonna probably get rid of some of the other cars here, and then I just uh, hopefully. I got rid of my, I think I've gotten rid of my chassis for my Axe Edition from Red Cat. So I'm probably going to go ahead and, yeah, that one should be gone. I got some other little cars I'm selling today. And then, like I said, I'm going to try and uh, buy up some other cars today that are new to drive, to keep my interest going. That's what I got to do. <laughs> I got about 30 and still not enough. Exactly. It is a drug. I mean, it's an addiction. And, and the other thing is, if I feel like if I only had like one or two, I, I wouldn't play with them. I'd like I'd run it for a little bit and I'd be done. So if I don't get new ones, then I'll get bored real quick. Like I'm already bored right now. Like we just got the Kronos. Uh, yeah, I got it, but uh, <laughs> want something new. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of kind of suck. I mean, that's just. That's, I mean, if you guys watch me long enough, you know that that's gonna that's what happens. Like it just kind of get bored of stuff. But well, I'm gonna hang out with one of my uh, friends, Tyson. We'll probably run this car again. With his Creighton, that was still, that was pretty good fun. Anyhow, uh, I'm not going to do too much probably on the jumping part of it. I'm not 100% sure. I know that wing's holding on by a thread at this point in time. So we'll have to see in regards to that one. I only have two with me on the way. <laughs> right on, as far as Eddie. You have two right now. and Oh, and one is on the way. That's a good thing, man. So you just build that collection little by little. But... Yeah, it's kind of where I'm at with it. <laughs> like, I've already run this thing a few times. It's got the PAL tires on it. I did kind of like a speed run with it. You know, see how fast it goes. I forget actually how fast it went. I don't know if it was... I don't think I had my GPS at the time to really do it. I think I, that's why I strapped my GoPro on top. But, I, you know, it can run on 3S. And I typically don't run on 3S. And, but it's super... I mean, it's super clean. I like it. A little team-associated deal. But yeah, it's really fun when it comes to being out in the sand with those tires instead of sticking on on-road tires. It's like, it's meant, for, that body is just like, says sand to me. Just the way it is. I mean, just. What's up, Island Duke RC? Island RC Duke. God, I always say it backwards. That's funny. What is that? Oh, this here? This is the Reflex. This is their DB10. So I'd say Doom Buggy. So yeah, it's a Reflex Doom Buggy 10, 10 scale. But it's a team associated. You can probably see a little bit more now, right? But it's two-wheel drive. Uh, and then they're going to have the dragster. I don't see this thing. Oh, I froze. Or did I just stop playing it? I'm going to wait here for a second. All right, I gotta catch up on my, where am I at with my video? Let's get to the end of it there. I'm just gonna wave and see where I'm at. Okay, good. Just checking, just checking. <laughs> Mr. Duke, Duke's popular. Kinda looks like, oh, the tenacity. Tenacity, yeah, kinda does look like that. Yeah, as far as the, uh, was that the low seat tenacity, right? That's like the new hot one. For the most part, I think what it come out in December or something. 
November, December, somewhere right around there, maybe. But it does look nice. I like that one. I like the tenacity. Anyone know where I can find some sand paddle tires for less than an arm and a leg? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the thing, man. Freaking tires are expensive. I feel like they're like car price tires. I'm like, oh, I need four. I don't know this big. But I guess if it depending if it's on a 10 scale or whatever, I know like, I mean, we carry Proline. And they're good tires. Not all their tires, but you know, as far as those paddle tires I have that are Proline, they're nice, but they're just expensive. I would like them to be cheaper, <laughs> but still be good. Joe, it, uh, let's see. It's in. Yeah, it's a. Joe, is it already Or is it? So, yeah, Jeff C. Yeah, there's a monitor behind me. And I'm going to put the logo. I got my little USB drive here. I'm just going to slap that on there. But it's not recognizing USB right now. So, I don't know if it's a. I can't do a firmware update to it because it can't recognize USB. It might be the format. I have it as FAT32, and I'm going to try and do N NTFSN. Yeah, that sounds right. It's usually FAT, so I don't sure, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just the actual uh, file if it's not a JPEG or what it requires to uh, see the video or the picture. That's my. That was my whole reason putting it back there is to have my logo on it. So, yeah. Um, I was going to have one of my videos or something like that stuck on there. Let's see, I saw some, uh, oh, I saw the paddle tires for, yeah, 30 bucks at Hobby Town. Oh, that's not 30 bucks. Well, if they're 10 scale, probably so. That would probably be about right. I mean, like with these, I'm not sure how much these are on our website either. But, because um, that came with the truck, but I know we have some, but I don't know how much it would be. Let's see, hmm. Thanks, Mason. I'll look into it. All right, cool. And which one do you like with your own cars? Oh, which one, oh, which one do I like? With your own cars, uh, let's see here. I think I'm going back here. Anyone else can, can find? Some? Okay, you did it. I'm looking to see if you're asking. Hmm. I'll look at it too. Thanks. Oh, let's see. Hmm. I'm looking to see what you're talking about. And when do you like with? When do I like with them? You can see the Element RC. It's oh, it's if system super swing. What's up, Jordan? Appreciate you joining in. Um, I'm not sure what you're saying here as far as, I don't know how you say that, your men. I'm not sure if that's right or, or however you say it. Which one do you like with your own cars? Oh, which one do I like out of my own cars? I like most, well, I mean, I like most of them, but then some of them I just don't want, I don't really care for too much. Like, I'm trying to get rid of the crawler, which is the, uh, well, you asked me. So, I mean, out of all of them, really, honestly, I don't know. I don't really have like a favorite to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Um, yeah, honestly, that's the thing. I I don't really <laughs> I don't have a favorite. It might be sad. I'm not sure. Um, you see new oh the the new element. It's system. It's pretty sweet. Mm, I haven't seen that one, Jordan. As far as that one, the element. I mean, I know that we carry them and stuff like that, but I'm not sure if um what they have in it. Active power sports. Um, but I haven't seen as far as the new element. I've been looking at just, uh, you know, uh, team associated, whatever. I mean, obviously they have like an umbrella of all their different brands, like Reedy and stuff like that. But I haven't looked at as far as that element one. I've seen, I've sold from the elements of that brand, whatever their truck is, their crawler. I only sold a few of those. Cars like da Danny. Uh, oh, Danny Alley are all good. Which RCs on your left hand vertical red color body on my left? This one right here would be the Red Cat Shredder. That, I mean, that one would be like, that one I like quite a bit for jumping because it's held up pretty well, like really well for what I do. So that one, yeah, the shredder. That one's, from my case, I think it's good bang for the dollar when it comes to it. Um, but yeah, those would be, yeah, that would be, I'm gonna move this thing. Let me from the mic just a little bit. 
Yeah, it's still in the picture. All right. So yeah, that's kind of where. Now, uh, what's the smallest RC you run? Any mini Z's? That's funny you say that too. I haven't. Uh, I almost got some mini Z's, but then I didn't because I didn't get them in time. So it was mini Z's 20th anniversary. Their Nissan Skyline R34. It was like chrome and blue. I was wanting to get those, but I called too late, like a couple days later. So I don't have any mini Z's. That's one of the things I kind of want to get. And because if I ask you guys here, there's going to be some people who are like, well, I don't really care for them. And I never owned them. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be like, oh, those are, those are kind of cool. They're small. So you can set up a little track and stuff like that. Um, so I kind of want to get into them a little bit. I don't know how long I'm going to, it's going to hold my attention. If I have some other people over, then I'd say, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, what color body car on the right? Yeah, the shredder is Gucci. Gucci skunk. It's Gucci. <laughs> What's up, Gucci? Um, let's see. What about the, the white color body car on the right? So the white color, oh, this one, the, it's a Habao, the GTB. Right, instead of the GTR, I'll just stick it down there. That way you guys can kind of see it. So yeah, you can see. Show the rear, and then show the front. But I like this one. I mean, obviously, I, I like most of them just because they're, well, they're still hanging around. And, but yeah, that's a, it's a pretty big, I mean, this is, that's one eight scale. This would be like your one ten scale. This is a one. This is a pretty large one ten scale, because of that size. It's kind of stretched that nice car. One eight scale. Yep, exactly. One eight scale. RC World, SAQ. Thanks, brother. Uh, let's see here. Duke, happy birthday, bro. Oh, happy birthday to Island Duke RC. Island RC Duke. See, you might as well change your name because I can't get it right ever anymore. Well, happy birthday. Uh, many of these cost too much for the size. Let's see. Had a great day yesterday for my birthday. Ate too much. <laughs> well, happy the latest birthday then. Island Duke RC. See, I, now I'm trying to say it differently. I can never say your name right. Island RC Duke. But anyway, uh, let's see here. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, no problem. Um, yep, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at with it. Jeff C. Uh, cost is too much. I'm like, they're like 200 bucks. I get them a little bit, like a little bit cheaper as a dealer. It's still too much. So it's like right at that same price point as a one tenth scale. I'm like, but I was talking to my rep from Kyosha today because he was calling me because I said, hey, I wanted to get those. There's only going to be like 200 of them in the United States. And I was wanting to get four of them. And he's like, nope, I already sold out in three hours. I was like, dang it. I didn't get my email until later. But apparently I'm going to have to check my email anyhow and see what's up with it and put things at high levels so I could have ordered those. would have been cool, but, you know, that's not going to happen ever again. Um, but, yeah, the, the Mini Zs are definitely expensive. So, um, But something like that, that 20th anniversary deal would have been kind of cool to have. I'm not going to pay what people are going to want to ask for it now. <laughs> Just my opinion in the Mini Zs. Yeah, I'm, kinda, I'm still the same way, Jeff, when it comes to that. I'm really stuck on that. It's just expensive. Get the Mini Q. Um, let's see, Martin, you said as far as the Mini Q. I mean, we have the stuff from like, um, who is that? Charisma? They have some, but they're out of stock right now, so I can't even get any of them. But it was like their Subaru and some other little car too, and they're brushless systems that are in it, and they're a lot cheaper, you know, as far as like, they're 130 bucks. And I get them even cheaper. I was like, that's pretty good. So I wouldn't mind something like that because, yeah, I'm hard pressed on that price. But I wanted the, like the little Civic Type R. I was like, oh, that's going to be cool to have. I don't really want to spend that much. I wouldn't mind just having the body, but we're out of stock on that one. Um, let's see, I got a, the brushed kit for 50 bucks. Duke. Duke is good. That's what everyone calls me, Duke. <laughs> 50 bucks Canadian. Okay. I'm not sure. Canadian. So that's actually really good if, that, if it's Canadian, right? Because usually the Canadian and the U.S. dollar, usually the U.S. dollar is lower. 
I mean, as far as you would see it lower priced, if I'm not mistaken. Maisie parts are compatible. Oh, that's good to know, Martin. What is your opinion on HPI Vorza? The Vorza? I'm not sure what that RC world as far as the Vorza. Why does that not ring a bell? The Vorza. Well, let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead. Let's Google it real quick. No sense of uh, doing it. Let's go. This is the Vorza, right? Check in. The Vorza. Oh, that thing. Yeah, they're buggy, right? Yeah, HPI Vorza. I like it. Looks good. I've looked at it quite a few times, to be honest with you. But I haven't ever, I was like, oh, it's too much. Watching you on the 55 inch, now you're famous. Right on, Jeff. <laughs> I'm famous I'm on the 55 inch. That's what I'll... Actually, the other thing is too, um, anytime I'm uploading videos, I've been trying to upload always in 4K because my videos look so much better on, comp on my computer, even if it's down to 1080. Yeah, because of that compression is just better. So, uh, I, unfortunately, on on live stream, you can, I think you know you can do it at like 720p. What's up, Mobe? <laughs> What's going on, man? Hope everything's going well with you. Um, most parts. Yeah, the Mini Z stuff is compatible. Okay, so that's cool. I'll have to get into it. Oh, like I was gonna say, like Kyosha has their Mini Z, their little. What are they? It's their crawler that's coming out. Oh, was that a Toyota or something like that? That looks kind of cool as far as that one. And I was talking to my rep from, like I said, from Kyosho. And he was telling me where they kind of went and filmed. I was like, really? They did one like under like kind of like an overpass. And they did another one at, like at the beach or so. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Nothing much. Just tuning in. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate all you guys tuning in. Smashing that uh, thumbs up, too. I definitely appreciate it. Okay, we're getting more people in here. So, Suzuki. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Suzuki. Yep. Jordan, as far as that one goes, I think if we're talking like the Charisma, the Suzuki. Yeah. Yeah, because I was trying to think the Subaru and the Suzuki. They both look good, if that's the one I'm thinking of. I think so. But you know, have them. they sold out back in December. And since then, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to get some. I didn't get a chance, even an opportunity to even look at them. They were, they were gone me right away. Kyosho Jimmy? Yeah, the Jimmy. Okay, there we go. The Jimmy, Jordan. Yeah, that, the Jimmy. The Subaru or the Suzuki, what? Uh, yeah, I think those are the two. Those are from, if I'm not mistaken, Charisma has them. I mean, we carry them, too. And I said there's a lot of different cars. I was looking at a bunch of cars today, probably longer than I should have. Uh, being counterproductive today when I started getting into the RC stuff like I want something different like I really want something and I can't find that thing to want to to put on the channel so and I was looking I did an Instagram video on my Dodge Demon no Dodge Hellcat it's a purple one like the what do you call it like um, plum crazy purple anyway I did one of those videos this is I don't know it hasn't been a year yet since I posted that video but uh, it's just the way I shot it, but I got, I don't know, I got close to like 3,000 views on just that one video. I was like, man, I usually only get like eh, maybe a couple hundred views on my Instagram, you know, on a video. Lately, I've gotten more, so if I got to keep posting more. But it was crazy. I was like, dang, that's pretty good. Like, I felt like a little bit of like Fresh Squeeze RC because he he's gets, well, he's got a big following too, but um yeah, I was like, man, I like to get some. I don't know. I like his videos, so I have to. I get inspired by some of that stuff too. But I do kind of want to. I want a burnout area. I, I kind of like his little setup. I'm not mimicking anything that he does on that part of it. I do like the burnouts. Anyhow, it's just kind of cool. But I really like to do something where I could hold the brake on the car, so I could like lock up the front. I mean, it's gonna drag the front too. But if you're trying to do a burnout. But it'd be kind of cool if I could come up with the system to lock the front. Maybe you guys might know, like, hey, there's a, you know, some something out there that that you can do to, you know, channel three lock locks the front, but you'd have to unlock. There have to be a way for the differential because obviously four wheel drive cars and that's not going to do. So you have to make a two wheel drive car lock the front. Maybe it could be a four wheel drive car, disconnect the the front. Most of those four wheel drive cars like this one here, you disconnect the front. 
That thing drives like crap. So yeah, okay, it was the one twenty. Yeah, the one twenty fourth scale. So yeah, Jeff C. Yeah, yeah, it's just one twenty fourth scale as far as those little mini Z's. But yeah, getting on to the the burnout stuff, kind of like it. I I want to have some kind of scale set up for a background for doing burnouts or whatever like that, or maybe showcasing a car, something like that. I kind of like that, you know, that New York City, that grimy, you know, as far as when it comes to the graffiti, like I like that stuff. It's like, you know, it's to me, I mean, I look at it, you know, it's kind of an, it's art. I mean, it's not, everybody can do it, but some of that cool looking graffiti stuff that people do, it's like, that looks cool. I like it. And it's colorful. So I, I like it's vibrant on some of that stuff too. I just like all that. There's some stuff here in St. Petersburg downtown and they have places, some of the buildings have graffiti, but I mean, someone was paid to do it or whatever. Um, it's a huge can, Kansas, uh, canvas of a building to uh, do their, their work on. So it's pretty cool. I like it. But yeah, I want something like that. I like to do. Yeah, I thought about even hydro dipping some of the cars and have some kind of crazy looking schema, but sometimes I feel like it gets lost as far as What's up, everyone? What's up, Sean's RC Adventure? What's going on, man? Appreciate you joining in. Just had lunch not too long ago, so just feeling lunch coming up. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I appreciate all you guys joining in. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, and I'm still thinking as far as different videos. I've been watching a little bit more on videos, how people do it a little bit more, like B-roll and, and whatever else. So I'm trying to understand a little bit more on photography so I can start to get, hopefully, you know, 2020 will be a little bit better on videos. That's my goal. <laughs> I would like to take a class if I could take some kind of online class or something. I have people that I know now have moved either hours away from me or in different states that people I used to go and ask questions when it came to photography, uh, more or less on just like Photoshop at the time. So... I don't have Photoshop anymore. But that was one of the things. Uh, let's see. what's Big Muscle RC, what's going on? I want to know if the truck down on your left. I'm thinking of the, oh, the Red Cat. Okay, down on my left. So it must be right here. The Shredder. Uh, the Red Cat. I just want to know, is this a pretty good truck? And how is the, how's your day? <laughs> so my day is good. Thank you for asking. And if the Shredder. How's that truck? That truck, if I left it just as it is on the 4S that it comes stock with, it's been great. I have no, I would recommend it all day. So yeah, man, 360 bucks. You know, you put a 4S or two, two S lipos in there and have fun with it and it does a little over 40. I don't think I would tell someone to do too. It'd be one, probably not going to like the tires for too long because they do balloon a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so that would be one thing I would recommend you get different tires down the road. But I like it. I like the truck. I think it's pretty durable. It's been dang, it's been very durable for me. Um, so I like it. Yeah, I appreciate that one. Big muscle RC. Let's see, graffiti is cool. The people who spray paint swear. Oh, yeah. So that's the only thing. Oh, okay. That's why I hid your. I'll, I'll just show it anyhow because it's. I mean, it has like it. Because, yeah, that stuff. That's, but I mean, I understand. Yeah, the graffiti. So that's the only thing I, that's the only thing I don't, I like graffiti when it's tasteful, right? When you can have just kind of cool things, but yeah, I don't want any of the, the nastiness that goes with it. Right. So I just want stuff to be clean looking. Graffiti is cool. Yeah, I definitely like it, <laughs> but I put that in there, <laughs> but I did actually, it's funny that you say that too, because I went, where was it? I went to another skate park and it was in Largo where I'm anyway, it doesn't. And, um, yeah, there was some stuff that was a little bit weird. I'm like, crap, but should I not have it on my channel? Like, is it going to be seen? So I tried to skip some of it. It was just some stuff. Most of it was okay, but there was some stuff that might have been a little bit weird. Oh, not the shred of the one on your my left, the blue body. The chrome wheel. Oh, that must be this one then. Here, the ground pounder? So yeah, that one. Okay, on your yeah, it would be on your left. So yeah, the ground pounder. Yeah, that, that one, well, okay, so. And let's see here. Oh, the Red Cat, is it pretty, is it pretty good truck and how is it? Um, so I would say it's a pretty good truck. 
I've already done mods to it. Like one, the transmission. I don't really care for the transmission. But I, if you were just like bone stock out of the box, get a better um, drive shaft for it. The rear. If you're going to put any more power to it, I think even if you just have the stock power, the the rear drive shaft is not strong enough. I've used like from um, the Everest 10, which is another Red Cat vehicle, like this guy here, even though it's got a Traxxas body on it or whatever. But it's an Everest 10. I've taken the transmission out of it and placed it into here. You got to modify it. But at the end of the day, your takeaway would just be just do the uh, uh, drive shaft, really. If you do the drive shaft, then you'll be okay. I got to fix mine, too. I got broken linkages because I hit the ramp just right on the linkages, and they snapped. Uh, Joe, then you should see the art my kids did in the bathroom on the wall. Take some pictures there, <laughs> Jeff. That's good. There's some graffiti right there, right? Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about, Jeff. Come on now. Send it to me and we'll, we'll see. We'll get some pictures. Not of your kids. Not like that. But, uh, yeah, as far as their artwork, that'd be funny. But, yeah, I definitely like those kind of like the bubble letters to it, whatever. I was looking online. There's a place that you could go to and you could make kind of like your own artwork a little bit with it. As far as with the fonts. Look pretty good, but I don't have any kind of way to import it. And I've tried GIMP. Uh, just another kind of free software to use. I wish Photoshop in some ways, like... Eh, you gotta pay for it, whatever, and it's like thirty something bucks a month, and I don't want to pay. I don't want to be like pay, 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 pay. I like trying not to pay everybody. So yeah, I'm trying to keep it all cheap, on the cheap, because I'm cheap. In some ways, I'm kind of cheap. Other ways, like eh. Um. But yeah, I just want some kind of artwork. I like it. So we'll have to see about it. I guess I should try. I guess I should try some of that artwork like that, but I know how it's going to look. It's going to look crack. Like I did it. <laughs> it's not going to look so great on some of the artwork. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. I was just kind of asking, you know, the main ob objective here was, well, see whatever it was kind of doing, see what's up. Also ask about Team Crowley, so I pretty much know that eh, kind of like there's not enough that people are like really interested in the Team Crowley two-wheel drive. So I'd be more opt if I was going to do anything like, oh, we want to see, you know, another 1-8 scale, you know, from Team Crowley. But at this point in time, I don't want to buy another $500 RC car or whatnot. Uh, you know, have the same kind of setup. So that would be, that's why I wanted something two wheel, or not two wheel drive so much, but I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, but 10th scale. But I already have an idea of what I'm going to get, if it's still available right now. So I'll get that. And I don't know what other, I got a, the other couple cars, so my budget's pretty much gone unless I cancel one of them. Um, yeah, it's different. I wanted some kits, and that's kind of why I like the Tamiya stuff sometimes. Kind of like, oh, I can build something. Oh, I know what else. I wanted the, uh, Super Cloud Buster, the black edition. So we'll have to see if I get that one or not. They're monster truck. I like it. I like because it it's black and red. I'm trying to get one of each type of RC. <laughs> That's right. Basically. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get one of each type. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean like you mean like a 10 scale, maybe a buggy or something like that, or just kind of mix. I do like that variety like that. I mean, I have, okay, so I have cars too. You know, like that's a car, obviously. I got quite a few buggies. So I almost, well, yesterday, exactly. So I was trying to, this is probably going to go on the chopping block as far as to get sold, but I, I ordered a part on eBay and it came in and it was not the right one. I was like, oh, dude, you know, I contacted the guy really cool and was like, yeah, okay, I'll get you the other part. Because I was like, I need the one that's like in the picture when I ordered it. He's like, oh, you got the wrong one. I sent him a picture. So uh, it's because of the bearing that's in the drive shaft or whatever, where the spur gear and all that, whatever it is. But uh, the bearing was disintegrated in it and it just honed out the plastic. So I was like, oh, my bearing is really loose in there. And since it is plastic, it got hot and melted. So... I was like, I just need that, and then I'll be good. Then I'll be a fully functional car, 
no, less. I just got some scratches, but you know that's part of being used, right? And uh, the tires are good. I need to get some CA glue too. That's another thing I need to put on my list. I need CA glue because that stuff doesn't like once you open that crap, the CA glue. It's like it doesn't last too long unless I, maybe if I stick it in the refrigerator, maybe it'll stay a little bit longer. And say don't eat on it, <laughs> so or, or drink. But um, yeah, CA glue doesn't seem to last. It, it was really thin before, and then it just gets thicker and thicker, and the cap gets all messed up. And I don't use that much to see it. Well, I was using CA glue quite a bit. I did quite a few tires and and just doing other little things with CA glue. I'm like, what else what can I do? Because this stuff's not going to last too long. That's the only thing that's kind of a bummer. I'm going with the plastic replacements or upgrades. Oh, okay, right on. See, that's the other thing I guess I got to get into is some of the upgrades. Maybe. Dang. I don't know. I'm struggling here when it comes to RC stuff. When it, um. I probably, what I, I don't know, I probably need to stop buying the RC cars a little bit and then just work on what I have. But then I'm like, I don't really want to run that anymore or whatever. So, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I get aggravated with myself when it comes to the RC stuff. Like, why do I have to get, like, I got these cars. I want to run them. But I guess the other thing is, too, because it's like, how many times can you how many times can we run the same vehicle i mean there are channels that run them and they do pretty well with running the same vehicle and shooting it way up in the air and destroying it and so i don't know well <laughs> i guess it depends on the vehicle if i really like it i don't know you guys let me know as far as i mean do you have the kind of the same thing where i don't know how many of you guys have rc channels and you're like i'm struggling to find you know something else i know like rc duke or Island RC Duke or whatever. You know, how many of you guys have YouTube channels? You're like, oh, I got to get some other cars. Why? Because I got to get those popular cars because they're the ones that are going to bring in more views, right? Like, is it? Do I need to really, I just need to work on my, my video. I mean, that's the thing that's kind of like, I mean, honestly, that kind of aggravates me sometimes. That's my main thing. Are you going to replace, oh, like, I'm, are you going to replace with plastic or upgrade the parts? I mean, oh, no, I'm not. So on that one, they're just, replacement parts for it on the rally car just go and keep them in it all bone stock well it's not bone stock it's got a it's got aluminum drive shaft in it so i did upgrade that one it's got a slipper clutch in it it's got 32 pitch gears in there i think it's like a 48 pitch tooth and i don't know what the other gear it's going to go it's going to go back to a brushed system so it won't be a fast car when i sell it it'll be that 17 mile an hour slow car yeah, because I wasn't going to sell it with my brush, my brushless system. Because I like my hobby wing system that I have for it, that I've put in many different cars. It's a 3200 KV, and it's really kind of a sweet spot for me as far as 3200 KV. 2200 KV, those are kind of like, I like those, and it seemed like they still have that bottom, that torque. When you start getting the high KVs, I just, you know, that's just put more wear. That's a little bit of stress on those poor little motors. What's up, Scottzilla RC? What's going on, man? So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as if, if I'm going to put this on eBay or I'm going to sell it to one of you guys or whatnot. Every, and to be real with you too, is like whatever I can get the most for, you know, I'm going to try to do that because the fact that that means I can get another RC or two cars out of that one. I don't think two cars unless they get two, like to me, a, inexpensive kits or something. Subzilla. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So yeah, back to as far as me asking about, you know, as far as... So yeah, as far as like any other guys with channels too, I don't know, you know, I don't know how big your channels are. If you're bigger than me, you're smaller than me, or you're just kind of starting out. You know, like what are some of your struggles too? You know, like trying to find content, you know, trying to be, you know, if you're going to be creative with it, you know, if you bash your RC cars, you know, kind of things like that. Because it's, my main thing is I don't really like to bash them too much because obviously with the breaking part of it and then you destroy them and then if I want to sell them, then I got a destroyed RC car, and then who's gonna want that? So that's where I'm at with it. Um, unless you know you can rebuild them or whatever and fix them back up, uh, and I have a little bit of advantage over that. Then if no one didn't have a shop, you know, as far as uh, you know, can fix them. So that's the other thing too. That's why I kind of stick with my own cars that I sell. That way I can get some of the prices a little bit better. Yeah, let's see here, Mister Island RC Duke. I like talking uh, stuff about. Oh, about, oh, you like picking stuff apart and trying to uh, make it better, uh, passing the time. 
Yeah, I mean, things like that as far as like trying to make it a little bit better. I mean, I did that with, oh, this. This one up here, that eaching, I was like, let me go ahead and, so as far as the drive shaft, it was crap that, what it came with, and it snapped pretty easy, so I went ahead and used the Habao stuff, and everything was good. And it's got 6S I was running in there, instead of the 4S. Still stock motor, but it has the Castle Creations uh, electronic speed controller, so I do that. But I mean, I know what you're saying as far as make stuff better and improve on it, like doing some upgrades or whatever you can come up with. Uh, you know, I like that kind of stuff as well. I like the customizing part of it, but man, my mind is scrambling today when it comes to that. So yeah, I guess that's, I mean, those are kind of like sometimes, yeah. I mean, this to kind of be real, so I'm not really sure what I'm having my uh, my breakdown <laughs> as far as that goes. Like, I'm trying to figure out what other things I want to do because I don't want to stay just doing like, oh, I'm going to the park, I'm running something there. I want to, I'm gonna definitely gonna get outside the box of what I normally do. I just want some other other stuff to kind of inspire me a little bit more. I need some other inspiration from either you guys. Or even just um, from, you know, my family members like, oh, yeah, you know, and I start watching those videos on doing videos and like different things that you can do that you can get to maximize the amount of video that you're doing, getting the shots and stuff like that, too, to make it really good. So, yeah, those are things that I think a lot of YouTubers that are in it, you know, are some of the stuff that they might struggle with as well. At least what I've seen, you should be editing videos but just not up to it right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, as far as editing videos too, that's the other thing, I do it, I always do it on my phone, right? And, and why that's, I feel like that works out for me and my benefit, but I think there's a lot of options out there for better editing software than just using iMovie. But I don't wanna spend hours editing, I mean hours and hours. Like I've seen like Kevin, I think he says that sometimes he'll take like, I don't know, like four or five hours editing video. And I was like, I mean, granted, he's doing what he's doing, but man, that's that's a lot of time. I can't, I can't imagine. I mean, it still takes a little bit of time even to edit stuff, if, especially if you don't have feel like there's enough material. And I'm struggling with music, man, because I hate the music that's on YouTube. I'm like, ah, oh, I like that song. I don't like that. So I was looking at other people where they get them from like uh, Epidemic. Another place, it's a subscription. I think it's like 15 bucks a month or I think it's like $144 for the year. I was listening to the, some of their music. And I'm like, I'm not really feeling all this stuff. I like trap music or some, you know, I like some of the metal as well that it's like kind of like dark, I guess. I don't know. I just want stuff that's like dramatic. Like I would just want that. Like it's just kind of gets you hype and gets you going. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's, I want, that's what I want in my videos. I want something that's like, you know, we're doing burnouts. We're, we're, you know, getting the car sideways or just getting crazy. And I want that music to go right with that intensity of me wanting when I'm driving an RC car. So that's kind of what I want. So that's what I want to portray in my videos. Like, I, I feel like that I can't get that out of the video or the music sometimes. And then the scenes too, like when I'm capturing, I'm not feel like I'm capturing what I want to, or I'm not driving it the way I want to. Anyway, there, you know, it's just a lot to it. So, you know, sometimes I feel... You can be your worst critic, but I think there's mad improvement I can do on my videos for sure. So, and I like people when they say, hey, you know, oh, you should have did this or whatever. I'm like, yeah, give me feedback. You know, and like if people come by and they say, oh, thumbs down or whatever, like, give me, give me, give me good feedback as far as, you know, you don't have to be a, a douche about it, but you can give good feedback still. So, and that's kind of like where I'm, I like when it comes to three days. Wow, bro. That gonna be epic. Uh, let's see here. I spent three days on a video. Wow, man, three days? Nah, that's wow. That's gonna have to. That better be like move. Yeah, that's a wow. That's a lot. Four hours is about average for me. Yeah, wow. Four average. Four hours. I think I usually take. Yeah, man. Thanks for the comments on the videos. I just uploaded. He's appreciated. Okay, right on. Got some. Four hours. Yeah. I guess I. I mean, uh, 
Scottzilla, you using like what is it? It's some kind of Photoshop or Adobe Suite of some sort? You pay like a monthly subscription, or what do you use to edit your videos? I'd be curious to know about that one for sure. Yeah, right. F to hate is, bro. Yeah, well, I mean, the people that do hate on, like, what do you have? You don't have, like, some of those guys that do hate and they'll say something, it's like they have no subscribers, they have no videos, they have no nothing. Or if they do have any videos, they're not getting any views. They're looking to just poke somebody and trying to stir the pot. And most, most of the time, I don't even give into it. I don't leave a comment. I just, I just mute them or ban them, more or less. And that, that's it. That's pretty much, that's, I'm not going to go sit there and, leave comments and then go back and forth. It's just like, it's pointless. Like you just wasted my time. You definitely won if I'm wasting my time on you. So yeah. But yeah, uh, Scottzilla, I'll see. I, I'd like to know what you, you know, whatever you use too, just, just for the heck of it. I mean, I'm not, there's only so many different options out there anyhow for editing software. And most of it's just like what people use is Adobe. And then there's those memberships and you can just use a cloud service or whatever, which I'm not too big of a fan on. Uh, who cares about the haters? Not worth the waste of time and bothering all about the yeah. I'm all yeah. As far as the positive on that one, so that's the main things like that. Yeah, just gotta you know keep it positive. I'm using free software called oh DaVinci. Okay, and I think DaVinci. I was thinking about no, it wasn't that. One. My wife was talking about some other software. I said yeah, let me know which one you were looking at. She's like oh you should get something for your computer instead. I'm gonna archive all of my videos that I do that I've been doing for the last year or whatever. I usually just drop them into another hard drive. Um, so just in case I need, if I wanted to go back or I, you know, if YouTube goes away, at least I have my videos that I've already edited, but they're already done. So I could chop them up, I guess. Um, hey, Big Papa, let's see here. I, oh. Oh, okay, it's, it's really easy to work with here. Camus, I think that might be it. Camus, Camtasia, I think it's something Camtasia, Camtasia, I'm not sure exactly how you say it, but that might be it. I don't know how much, I don't know how much that software was. I had to look at them all. It depends on how easy it is to use, but if it's too easy, then you know it's going to be basic, right? So Joe, if, if you're talking about, if you, oh, if you're taking the time to watch and hate on you, then you're doing something right. Keep it up. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, Jeff C. But yeah, man, I used, I mean, once I got, I don't know, probably, I don't know how much it was until, you can see like when there's the hate, <laughs> like on some of it, but most of the time it's been pretty good. But you'll get some weird comments or whatever, and most guys, you won't even see it because I'll just get rid of it instantly. So I'm just like, yeah, out of here. I don't know if that's what, what it was. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking, I mean, I can still spice it up a little bit more with, um, Photoshop, not Photoshop, but, um, iMovie, uh, I can kind of mix it a little bit more. I mean, I think I know pretty much most of all of what iMovie can do other than if I'm not using it exactly where I'd like to, like I'll slow down stuff. And sometimes even when I'm, I noticed I wasn't recording in 4k 60 frames a second. I would love it if I could get 4K, 120 frames, that'd be perfect. That's a lot of data at one time, but um, if I could do that on both my GoPro and I could do it on my, my iPhone, that'd be that'd be nice, for especially for slow-mos. But fortunately, those things don't go to that frame rate. I guess I could do a slow-mo, I could do them on, no, nah, it won't work, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, 4K slow-mo, only in 1080p. Yeah, but yeah, I like slow-mo as well, just like that where it's like, when? And I like those. It's kind of cool to see what is all that's happening that you know you don't see when you blink. That this happened to the car. I'm like, oh man! Like when I crashed, even just my habao, and I noticed like the wheel got all jacked up. I was like, dang! If I would have saw that, you know, if it wasn't for slow mo, I wouldn't have seen that wheel get that jacked. I'm like, wow! I can't believe it didn't break. It just kept on going. I was like, man, that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I do like the slow mos on that one definitely cool yeah slow-mo is cool I'll do it at oh, okay 2k at 120 frames most of the time so yeah I do like unless I set it up on I've been watching a lot of stuff comparisons with GoPro like I have the 7 black and then the 8 
uh, black edition. I was like, should I upgrade to that or what? I'm like, I don't think so. I mean, I was doing enough comparison. There's not that much of a, there's enough of a jump that I could see it could work, but I heard some stuff as far as, I'm a little bit aggravated with GoPro too, with their whole, my GPS not lining up with my my videos. And I'm like, I'm going to jump right to another one. And I bet you're going to be the same thing. That's going to make me mad. I spent all that money on an on a action camera, and they're not fixing the issue that's happening. Stupid GoPro. <laughs> so, uh, but I do like the stabilization on the iPhone, and uh, which the iPhone is, is, is okay, but obviously the GoPro 7 Black, really good, and then the 8's even, lot, even better. So... And the reason why I like that stabilization because you can slap it on the car then you don't get all that rockiness that's happening. And then on the 8 would be even just that much more solid. So when you are jumping or if I took this thing on sand and it's all rocking around or whatever like that, it would be nice and solid. And you're just get you're focusing on what I want you to focus on and not the shakiness of the video. Uh, so the 8 would be something. I'll wait until next year or this year and see what GoPro comes out. Maybe they'll have something at a higher frame rate. Uh, but they do get hot too, the GoPros. I'm like, man, they got an overheating issue. Like they get too hot. Um, so it's going to stink when it comes to the summertime when I'm recording in 4K. That thing's going to be crispy really quick. So I have to be cautious of that. I already had an issue with the uh, memory card. So um, what was it? It you know corrupted. I was like, good thing I didn't have anything on there that I really wanted. So... I always dump all my, my uh, content from my GoPro. I'll just transfer it over to my phone and what have you. So that way I can edit that way. So yeah, there's, I mean, there's quite a bit to it. Thumbnails, um, I'm still learning. I mean, yeah, it's all learning. It's all learning. Let's see, done, oh, the cab cam with the GoPro black. Uh, oh, the, on the UDR was pretty cool. Love the, the Hero black. Yeah, the 7 black, yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, did you ever format your memory cards? Oh, do I? Yeah, I reformatted my memory card, uh, Scott. So mine corrupted, and I just said, I'll just reformat it. I reformatted it, uh, what, you know, and then it was all good again. So it's been fine, but I figured if it's having an issue, I think it's more or less on the GoPro part of it than it is actually on the SD card, the micro SD card. But... Uh, you know, I know it happens sometimes. I mean, it happened even with the Android stuff. The, those little cards get corrupted, and then you have to format them again. Kind of stinks. Big Muscle, I'm putting some money back. And let me know when you... Oh, when you sell your Kyosho Madbug. Oh, okay, right on. As far as you're talking about... Oh, yeah, me selling my Madbug. I don't know if I want to sell that thing, to be honest. I mean, it's the only... I don't think... They don't sell them anymore. But... I don't know, but um, who knows? It might come an opportunity where I just like or sell it. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah, oh, oh no, finally. Oh, okay, went back to that. Okay. Uh, let's see. But yeah, it might be one of those things where I might. My wife likes it. She's like, "Oh, don't sell it." I'm like, "Okay, we'll see <laughs> if I uh, if I ever sell it or not." I got one of those uh, GoPro knockoffs uh, from Wish. Haven't used it yet though. Oh, I'd be nice if. It'd be cool if you. Uh, my friend uh, Tyson has one of them, and it's like a knockoff kind of GoPro, or whatever. And I was like, oh. make me want to throw up. Like it was, it doesn't have stabilization in it, so it's like all. I'm like, okay, well, I'll take my GoPro. You know, I'll take it for what it is right now. I got to have it where that, like, I can't, you know, once you experience like stabilization and on movement, you know, things that are rocking all around, you're like, you don't want to go, you don't want to go back and save, save money on that kind of stuff. Like, eh. Oh, did Paul leave or something like, let's see. Oh, later, Paul. I got one of those. Go okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Big Papa. Um, I'm off guy. Okay. Big Papa. Man, I appreciate it, bro. Time to get the little daughter. Oh, the bed and ketchup. Yeah, man, I appreciate you as always, man, hanging out. Fantastic live stream, Joe. You're killing it. Appreciate that, Big Papa. I have to remember you as well. Let's see here. And you have a good night as well, man. Appreciate it. Definitely. So, 
But yeah, that's kind of, yeah, you know, the more feedback I can get from you guys too, like, or what you guys use. I mean, some of you guys have your own channels as well. So I definitely like that and like, hey, yeah, I'm using this or whatever, or, you know, tips that I, maybe what I'm using, like, hey, what do you use? I've had people ask me too, like, what do you use for your live stream? What do you use for, you know, putting car, you know, those on your car? So I just tell them like, hey, just use the, the GoPro 7 Black. Um, and, and again, like I said before, it works okay, but again, it's not like, yeah, the this the main thing is I like having the the speed on there, so that kind of sucks. Let's see, Mr. Mr. Fraser, right? I guess or Fraser, Mr. Fraser. I guess you say it, Fraser. Late the party, but my team Corralling Chronos. The Chronos is good. Is a good buy. Uh, I'm stuck between that and the Rustler 4x4. Oh, I've had both. Well, I have. I have the. The Kronos, and I had the VXL 4x4, and I liked it. That's just more power, man. I mean, it tends to, I mean, it's it's almost like you can't, those two different, you know, as far as sizes, too. And I don't favor the 8th scale over the 10th scale any day. And, um, Mr. Mr. Ty, I would say that's late to the party, but the <laughs> team currently. It is a good buy. I mean, I, it's pretty good. I like it so far. Uh, let's see here. Naval. So can you tell me some upgrades for the Red Cat Blackout, please? Good for speed and endurance. <laughs> um, for speed. So you have this, you already have the Red Cat Blackout. Let's just presume you have like the brushed version of it, the XTE brushed or whatever, not the Pro. And I guess even if you have the Pro, um, I don't know as far as like, you know, as far as your endurance, like more of your upgrade parts on it, uh, from the blackout tires, etc. Oh, oh, I mean, as far as tires go, I'm trying, I just go by what I usually do. Like when I had it and I mean, most of the time I run my stuff stock, right. Or I put a motor in there and I let it eat that way. Or I'll put some other tires on it that are more for speed. Uh, but as far as when I had the uh, blackout, I like the tires that came on it for on road. It seemed to be pretty decent. But I mean, once you go fast, they're gonna they already balloon. Uh, so you want something that's better. Um, I was trying to think of some stuff that's actually pretty decent. But as far as like electronics, speed control or stuff like that, oh, you have the pro, um, the gears, and uh, ESC etc. So what I've heard too. Okay, so let's say the. The Red Cat, this is the pro version of it. The ESC, someone went with the, um, like, 120 amp ESC, if I'm not mistaken, 120, or maybe it was 100, it was the 80 amp ESC. I'm not 100% sure. The, what's the ESC that comes in there? For, uh, I'm not, I think it's, I thought it was like an 80 amp electronic speaker controller that comes in the pro. It could be off, it could be a 60 or something like that. Uh, but I did have some people tell me like, hey, I upgraded it. I'm going to say with like 120 or a, or an 80 amp ESC, like a hobby wing or something like that. Because I had an issue when I put 3S in there, it didn't like 3S. But man, it screamed on 3S. Uh, and it was a lot more fun than 2S, obviously. So, and it handled it pretty well. So, uh, but the ESC didn't, it cut off. So that would be my one thing I would do is like, oh, upgrade the electronic speed control to something better that can handle 3S, like a, a nice hobby wing system. You can do castle or whatever too, but I mean something like that. As far as when it comes to wheels, depends on if you're going to be off-roading it and stuff like that. It's already got a 12 millimeter hex that's on it, so it's just kind of like depending on what your flavor of tires are. Like you know, as far as like uh, what are some of the ones like Proline that are trenchers or you know, there's a lot of different tires out there and whatever you want to kind of stick on it for if you're bashing or for speed. Oh yeah, 45 amp. Well, that's why it doesn't like three. That's right there. So yeah, get an 80, an 80 amp electronic speed control. So you can push it. The only thing is that motor that's in it, probably gonna, you need to keep an eye on the temperature or get at least a, a heat sink, aluminum heat sink with a fan on it. But you're gonna wanna check the temperatures too if you're running on 3S because I had some issues. It, you know, it got pretty hot anyhow. I mean, it's, it's not like the beefiest one. I would almost say like if you just, if you could do it, I don't know, you know, what your budget is too. Yeah, the ESC sucks, that's for sure. Hands down. 
Um, yeah, get get the 120 amp. Yeah, I would say so too. Get the more overhead then, and then you can still run it. And then you can run it on three or four S. Uh, I don't know about four S on that poor little motor. God, man, that'd be horrible on that thing. I would say three S. I'd do with that and keep an eye on the temperatures because that thing gets hot anyhow. So, yeah. Yeah, with tires, there's so many different combinations and different options out there for tires, so it just depends on what you kind of want. Oh, yeah, definitely, Naval, when it comes to... Uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I was trying to help you a little bit. There's so many different options out there. I mean, my mind goes... But, yeah, the ESC would be definitely one of the things I would upgrade on it, if not the motor, too. So usually, I'll when I go ahead and I look for RC cars, sometimes, depending on what the price difference, the fluctuation, like... Just go with the brushed and put a brushless system in there because you're going to get a, probably a better system than what comes in it. So that's why, like, I've had nothing but good experiences with my hobby wing stuff. So it's not sponsored or nothing like that. I mean, it's just what we sell. But my 3200 kV motor, like, that's been rock solid. So I like it. Um, yeah, ESC motor combo. I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely for sure. D definitely do like a combo save you more money even when i order stuff if i can try to get it in a combo it's going to save me and it'll save the customer money too the volcano uh epx it has the uh, same motor and it blew on he ran it on 5s dude of course it's gonna blow 5s wow i mean 3s would be the tops on it what because it's like what a something like a 3300 kv motor like 3300 kv motors they really can't you can't and there'd be that's way too it's too high of a KV motor to run it on 4S or anything above that. A 3S is like tipping the scale of that poor little thing. And it's a small, I think it's even a 540 size can. It's not a very big motor that's in it too. Hey, oh, big drone flyer, man. Appreciate you joining. Yeah, what's up, man? What's up, Donnie? Just want to say hi, Joe. Everything's great. Great weekend. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. Don't forget to uh, smash that thumbs up. Yeah, exactly, guys. Smash that thumbs up. Appreciate it, man. I hope... Uh, Got to get that back fixed, man. We got to get those MRIs in and uh, take care of you, man, so we can get you out there flying your drones again. So, yeah, definitely appreciate you stopping in. One of like my one of my first subscribers there, man, back in the day. That was like, what, two years ago, something like around there. So, yeah, definitely appreciate that one, man. It snapped the shaft. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, 3,300 kV motor that's in there. So, yeah, it's not, I mean... I would never run anything, a 3300 kV motor unless it says you can run this thing on 4S, which anything that high of kV, I typically, well, 3S. Uh, I mean, I've run like a 5800 kV motor on 3S or whatever. Like that's crazy, but it takes it. It's not, it doesn't like it because it gets hot, but it, it still takes it. And like I said before in some of the videos, I've opened it all up. Everything looks good as far as the armature that's in it or whatever you call it. Um, the shaft or whatever and it's it's been good so i've just changed the bearings sometimes make sure everything's oiled up real nice but yeah that's 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 crazy what's up rc taz what's going on bro appreciate you joining in as well so yeah we're just kind of ramping up as far as our viewers right now so that's cool man i definitely appreciate it so that means either people are at lunch they're getting off work or they're at work watching me Watch out for your boss, you know, make sure it's clear, and you can watch OMGRC. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, just kind of, I know some of you guys, like, you can always chime in, too. Like, oh, yeah, we've been looking at the Team Crowley stuff as well. I think pretty much for the most part, everybody that's been here and they've been talking, as well, or I, as I've been talking, uh, you know, no one's really said too much. I've had, like, my cousin and he, and also... One other guy was like, oh, yeah, Team Corrali, uh, two-wheel drive, you know, as far as <laughs> not too much, the Mammoth. And it's pretty much been it. So most of the time, I think the 10th scale, two-wheel drive is kind of like off a lot of people's radar. Like it's not like if you've been in the hobby a little bit, like the two-wheel drive is really not going to be your forte. You guys can let me know in regards to that one. But I would kind of think uh, two-wheel drive is not really – once you've had a taste of four-wheel drive, you're kind of like – it's kind of like, oh, man. I mean, this is two-wheel drive, but I like the – sand the sand tires the pile tires on it it's good uh what other two like i'm gonna do like the dragster so team associated dragster that's coming up here this month i want that one it's pretty much the same chassis it is the same chassis 
but it's the dragster. You can do some donuts and or not donuts, maybe. Uh, you know, burnouts and stuff like that. So that would be cool. Uh, yeah, one eight scale is okay. Yeah, on an eighteenth scale is okay. Yeah, two wheel drive is hard to drive, in my opinion. That yeah, uh, Scottzilla. Yeah, it is. I mean, some of these like this one has a more or less like a gyro. You know, it has a stability management in it. Most of the time, I you know I could care care less about that part of it. I mean, yeah, you just gotta drive it more. It makes it more of a challenge, but of course, when you have a lot of power and those wheels, it kind of lifts up a little bit, and the wheels are just going like this, and you're trying to turn, like turn. You gotta lay off the throttle; it grabs. So yeah, it is a little bit like it's okay for brushed versions, and then once you put it to brushless, it's like those front wheels are just hanging on for the for a ride, because those rear tires are just gonna push that car forward. So I mean, I get that part of it. Two wheel drive, don't waste. Yeah, don't waste. Stay, yes, you're straight. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Just wheels are turning, and just keeps on going straight. It's like, man. So, yeah, I get that part of it too. So, that's the other thing I was like, ah, do I want a two wheel drive? So, um, how about front wheel drive? I'm going to get that. I think I'm going to get that. I'm going to pull the trigger on the Civic front wheel drive because I like Honda. Sorry if some of you guys don't like it. But um, I shouldn't have to say sorry for that one. But um, yeah, two wheel drive. What? Front wheel drive. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. I've seen it running on the carpet or whatever like that. It was pretty funny. On the track, uh, uh, it, it can't keep up. Uh, oh, yeah, on the rear wheel. Let's see here. On the racetrack, I can't. Yeah, you can't keep the rear wheels in the back. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all. it depends on how it's all proportioned as far as where the power or where the, all the weight's at, too, on a, on a rear wheel drive car. So, because it can be a little bit too back, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it depends on what the car is too. <laughs> yeah, it, but it is difficult when it comes to, you know, uh, driving two-wheel drive. But, I mean, it's fun. I mean, it's less expensive, especially if anybody that's kind of getting into the hobby is like, okay, you can get two-wheel drive. But, you know, weigh out your options too. Like, how much are we going to spend on that? Or get a two-wheel drive, and what can I do more with it? Well, you can definitely get get away with more, you know, going through some of the, you know, grass or getting stuck on stuff. You won't get it. It's obvious you got more wheels, you got more planted on the ground that are, you know, um, service contact, you know, as far as when it comes to power to the wheels. So two-wheel drive definitely is eh, not so great, but it's one of those things. Looking forward to the next video. Let's see here. On the so yeah i'm not 100 percent sure so at least at least i asked some of you guys too when it came to um those corrali cars so that's going to be like well that's probably why they're not selling too well because they are two-wheel drive and i think a lot of people are like i don't want two-wheel drive i want next one will probably be oh we'll come with what is that? I know what that is too. Sean's RC. I know. Oh, the Komodo. The Komodo. So the Komodo. I've been looking at that one before because the Komodo. I saw it on. Um, who is it? Well, yours is right there. So um, RC Adventures, right? So Aaron or whatever. So, so yeah, RC Adventures, right? Yeah. So uh, I seen his. So that looks pretty cool. The Komodo. What, and who makes that? Why can't I? I'm trying to think of who makes it. I know I, I mean, I sell it. I don't, it's not, is it G, it's not G made. Is it G made that makes it? Can't think it. What's up, Mets RC? What's up, ladies? <laughs> What's up, ladies? There's no, I don't know. Is there any ladies in here? I don't think so. I think it's all guys. Uh, one more question. What's the fastest, the Shogun or Kronos? Which one's faster? Uh, I mean, just look at their sleekness, too. I mean, they're pretty competitive as far as their aerodynamics. But I would say I'd almost, you know, here's the thing. They're both going to probably struggle. One has a little bit smaller tires, the Shogun. And these have 
bigger tires, but the problem is these things are going to balloon. So you're going to get up to about 55, maybe somewhere right around in there, and then you're gonna it's going to be unstable. And you're going to have to go with, uh, you know, belted tires for it. So if you want to achieve faster speeds, you're going to have to go with, you know, the belted tires. Because even, I mean, talking to Team Corral, they're like, oh, yeah, you, you know, you can do it if you're, like, really sensitive as far as steering and you barely touch that thing. I don't you know, you can get it to go as fast as it says it can go. That's stupid. I would just go with belted tires, and then you'll be a lot, you know, everything's stable. You don't have to worry about flipping it over. It's just going to haul butt. Uh, the G Mig, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> the new, oh, yeah, I saw it. It was, uh, well, I like the body, the way it looks in the picture. I was like, oh, it's going to be, but I think it's clear. It's like their kit, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, but it looks really good. I like it. They have it's even better than the old one, in my opinion. It's the most unmistaken looking truck out there. Um, I might. Dang. I need someone. Uh, we need some super chat money here. Come on. <laughs> we need, Joe needs a new RC car. We're gonna. Have to, we need to get another crawler. Then we need a G made tr crawler. No, but um. Let's see. Yeah, that would be kind of... I Okay. Man, I've been hesitant to pull the trigger on some of these other uh, crawlers. I mean, the ones that we do sell. Um, yeah, as far as G-Made, they got, they've got some... Again, I haven't had their stuff, but I bet it's pretty nice. I've had other people tell me like, oh, yeah, it's, it's nice, man. So I'll have to uh, take a look at it. Oh, but yeah, as far as when it came to the... Uh, yeah, I think I already answered that one as far as that one... Razor. Um, so yeah, I would, it's kind of a battle. It, honestly too, it's the same car. <laughs> so you can just switch the body on it. I think the body line, I was told like the body mounts, it, all the, the hole mounts for the body all line up. So you could just go and put a different body on there. You could have two different vehicles. Like, oh, today I have, here's our new one. Put another one on it. Oh, here's the other one. Other than the tires, you know, you get a little bit smaller tires with the Shogun. So. I almost wanted that one, but again, I had early access to the Kronos from our distributor. So that's why I went, they're like, here, we're going to send you that one. Because I almost had the Dementor. That was the one they're going to send me, but I saw some not so positive things on it. But we'll see. Um, yeah. What's under the hood of the uh, R8 in front of you? Uh, it's got 6S. 2000 kV motor, 150 amp hobby wing system that's in it. And it's a stock pinion gear. I think it's like a 14 tooth. I think it does like right around, if I'm not mistaken, it did close to like 50, almost like 50 miles an hour. It's not geared for any of that. It's super geared low right now. And again, um, but yeah, I like it. Uh, it needs to get the tires. I was going to put different tires because these are the stock tires that come with it. And they know good for the power that this thing's putting down. They start to balloon and they start slapping the body. I have some GRP tires, but they're a little bit small. They're not as big as these tires here, too. I don't think I have the GR... GRP tires are... So, I'm going to move my mic a little bit. Get there. Even the GRP tires, eh, probably... Like they're just, they look, I mean, the, the white ones look even smaller, so I need black. Well, I mean, but anyway, the white ones don't look good on this car. It looks funky. Like it needs black wheels, but the wheels need to be a little bit bigger. So I don't know if I go with, I'm not 100% sure if these are considered one pin scale, to be honest with you. These are just S7 is the compound. But the white ones, I, this is the first time I went with white ones. I'm like, eh. probably why most people don't go with white ones because they get all nasty real quick, which is a given. It's white, right? Um, but I would say that really is what I, I would like to, um, get a little bit bigger GRP tire. I don't know if the eight scale ones, they might be a little bit wider too. slap them on here or some other tire. I don't know if there's any other, like some other good tires that are for speed that will, that will hold up. Someone's trying to crack, get in here. Hello? So anyway, yeah, that's that. Oh, that's that's not nice. Uh, yeah, exactly. These things aren't that great as far as these these tires here. I mean, the GRP tires are, but 
Yeah. I'll get with you in a little bit. I lost my tooth. Oh, good. You lost your tooth. <laughs> okay, good. Subscribe and Sub comment down below. And Thanks. hit on those notifications so you can be notified when there is a new video posted. <laughs> That's right. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Bye. So, yeah. <laughs> The rims on it look sweet. Yeah, I mean, the rims on here are, are pretty, They, I like them for sure. But um, yeah, I mean, as far as the GRP tires, just too small on here anyhow. So we'll have to see. So cute, yeah, yeah. I lost my tooth. I, would, I was, uh, anyway, I was helping her with, I don't know, sometimes you gotta make sure, you gotta keep an eye on little kids, man. You gotta make sure that they're brushing their teeth right. So I kinda got on her. And uh, I noticed her tooth was still hanging out there. I'm like, man, we got we to gotta hook that little tooth up to one of my cars here and put it on the video. We can do it in slow motion. She's like, uh, no. <laughs> so anyway, I'm glad that at least her tooth came out. So now she wants, I want money. Yeah, no, right? My kid knows how to plug stuff. I know she's always watching YouTube like, I want my own YouTube video, you know, her own channel. I was like, yeah, I bet you do. Um, but... And not right now. Daddy's not liking that. So, uh, just wait a little bit. That was awesome. Yeah. But she's always doing that. Like, comment, subscribe. Click those notifications. So, yeah, she's always doing all kinds of stuff. So, it's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, she, definitely, <laughs> she knows how to plug this stuff for sure. Man, kids are crazy like that. I guess it was like if we, when we were your kids too, you kind of absorb all that stuff really quick. Like, yeah. No pressure. What happened with my... It's like copying everything on my computer. Alright. That's weird. Alright. But yeah, um, let's see. Not to leave it stagnant there for too long as far as see what was going on. Alright. Um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought what I was going to do. Make sure that... Something happened with... Okay, there we go. There we go. But yeah, um, main thing was... Really, I was going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to definitely, I don't know if I'm going to do live Wednesday, so probably not, depending on what content I get. And uh, I'm going to get from a running video. Hopefully, I'll get with my, my friend Tyson so we can run the Kronos again against the Creighton, just for the heck of it. I just want to run it because that's like, he only has like, he's got a couple RC cars, but that's the one that's in operation right now. So that one, he's got a Nitro one. And Nitro ones, uh, I know some of you guys definitely like them and stuff like that too. It's just kind of noisy, and we don't want to get kicked out of the park that we, we were going to. So we'll, we might try somewhere else. not 100% sure if I scope out some other areas and uh, get some new scenery would be nice. So we'll see about that one. Um, Joe, what's the big the big in front of the tracks is 46? Oh, oh, you mean what's the bug? Oh, the bug, bug. So that's the mad bug. This one, I tell you, I don't know why. Kyosha probably should have kept making this thing because I've gotten quite a few people like, hey, can you get that still? I'm like, oh, no, I can't get the mad bug anymore. So it's actually super smooth. What I'm saying as far as its whole drive system, I mean, that's where I think like Kyosha and uh, some people might not know, but... Their little drive systems are pretty nice. As far as this one, uh, aluminum shocks on it. Now this was more expensive. What I'm saying is like this came with a brushless system that came with it. And if you follow Kyosho at all, but they've kind of redone, re, uh, revised their RC cars. So this one was like three hundred and something dollars, and I would not spend that much money um, at the time. But like their their whole phaser line. So most of those cars are like, okay, 230 and lower. And anything, at least with the phaser, with the electric stuff. But like these phaser line, the previous ones, that like this one, the chassis was a little bit, feels a little bit thicker, a little bit sturdier, potentially. And the other one's pretty sturdy too. But um, there's some weird thing that they kind of like don't do. Like they have aluminum, or they have their metal... The dog bones in here are, are steel, but then sometimes uh, in the cups, some of them are plastic. I'm like, what? Like, anyway, but that's that. Um, 
That's so cool. Yeah, I do like it. Is it brushless? It was, but it was brushless when I bought it. So it was a brushless. It was a Team Orion. And I will say this too, with Team Orion, their stuff super watered down, or at least what Kyosha was getting. There were small little motors that were in there. They just didn't have a lot of punch to them. Uh, I expect a little bit more. Like when you're hitting a certain price point, like, you know, you got Arma, right? So it's like Arma, Traxxas, mostly Arma because they're setting like those speeds. So when someone says, oh, you know, for 300 bucks, I can get this Arma or whatever because it goes X amount of speed or a certain amount of speed. And I'm like, yeah, but, um, you know, you're looking for, this is going to be a licensed vehicle. You know, there's, this is different, right? So, um, but it's a hard market. At, you know, over 300 bucks makes people really, really think about, like, what am I going to get? I don't know if I'm going to get that. So um, it would be nice if they came out with this again and they could go with that phase of the line that is less expensive, like, you know, around 200, a little, a little over 200. It wouldn't be so bad. But, yeah, this thing was definitely quite a bit when it came out. So, But I, de I definitely like it. I like that bug style. I thought about even the um, Tamiya stuff. I was like, oh, I kind of want another bug. I kind of like them. Like they have their Volkswagen, uh, the, I don't know, it's their van. I don't know what it's called, but uh, it looked kind of cool. What's the front car? Uh, let's see, here's, that's so cool. Let's see, Mr. Ty or Fraser, Fraser. Uh, let's see here, what's the, the car in front of the Kronos? The car that's in front of the Kronos? Oh, so this one, this is, <laughs> So this is the uh, RZX, not mistaken. Yeah, RZX. This is the Rage. They don't. We don't carry it anymore, but we did have a blowout where it was like two ninety nine. A heck of a good deal. It's six S. It's like a. It's a one six scale. Um, I forget exactly what the motor or KV that's in it, but um, yeah, pretty pretty mean system that's in it. It's pretty solid, anyhow. I like it. The guy wants $873 on eBay is ridiculous. Yeah, that's for sure. That's stupid, man. I'd be like, report. I'm trying to rip people off. I know sometimes it can be a like a, just sometimes an accident, right? But those are just stupid. Like, I've seen it before where they're just like ridiculous price. I'm like, who's going to buy that? Like, seriously? I don't know if there's like suckers that just like, oh, that's good. I'll just go ahead and buy that. Like, who does that? Like, if you're looking, I mean, on eBay, there's a lot. If you list something, you're going to see a lot of multiple listings. So it might as well be at the same price. But yeah, it's crazy. You can still get them for like three two ninety nine. I've seen them before. I don't know from what websites to whatnot. It's like when I bought them, I bought what I thought I would sell pretty quick. And they, they went very quick, which I was like, dang, I should have bought more. But you never know. And I don't want to roll the dice too much. And like, oh, I think, I, like I said, I think I bought like four four of them or five of them at the time. And I was like, that's it. I'm not going to buy too many of them. So I called some friends, see if anybody wanted one, one bought one. Uh, and then there was, you know, some other people had bought them. So, but yeah, it was a really killer deal. Oh yeah, the Mad Van, Jeff C. <sighs> Man, I don't, so I, I like that one. Did you watch Fresh Squeeze RC, his Mad Van video? I mean, what inspired you? Like, I mean, obviously the style and stuff like that, right? I think I stabbed myself somehow. But, um, you know, like, is there a video that you like? You're like, oh, man, yeah, I saw that. It looks really cool as far as... It's pretty good. It's a good... Um, it's chassis layout. It's pretty solid chassis anyhow. I'm really... Eh. I still kick myself a little bit for selling my Dodge Hellcat. Because that chassis... I mean, those chassis are good, right? So the Kyosho chassis. And it's the same chassis as what the... The Mad Vans on, so you can't go wrong with it. Uh, it seems to be pretty durable, and they have upgrades for it. They got carbon fiber piece, uh, pieces for it. They got aluminum drive shafts. Which I mean, if, if you're gonna update anything on it, aluminum drive shaft would be the must, the first thing that you gotta do. But if you want to put a little bit more power to it, it is pretty cool, and I think it's got the uh, just the style that makes make it brushless. I don't know. Should I do something like, should I get a Mad Van? They're out of stock anyhow, I think. I'd have to ask my Kyosho rep and see if they have any because uh, our other distributor doesn't have any. We don't have any yet. My budget's gone <laughs> as far as that one. Now, I haven't bought anything yet. I still have stuff on back order right now that I was looking to get. I can always change it. I still kind of want the dragster, right? I mean, how many people want to, I don't know, that's kind of, it's that Pet Boys too. Okay, right on. 
Later, everyone. Okay. All right, Sean, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. Yeah, definitely appreciate that one. Hit, yes, definitely smash that thumbs up. I feel like I, uh, you got to say it three times, right? Something like that my wife said. You got to say it at least three times just throughout the whole video. And I kind of feel like, man, don't people know you got to smash? Like, hey, I like that. That was a pretty good video. You know, hey, if you're chatting here, then, then you're into it, right? I mean, if you're sitting back, of course, that maybe you can't say nothing. Like if I watch on my television, I'm like, well, I can't really chat unless I'm streaming it or Chromecasting it to my television. Then I'll say stuff. I like the dragster thinking about it. Yeah. So I like the dragster as well. That thing looks really cool. I mean, again, it's the same chassis. So I'm like, oh, man, should I just wait until they have the parts and then just slap the other body on there? And then we can just have a dragster and I just save myself a bunch of money. I have to buy the tires. In the body see those little things like that too tires and body like it all adds up pretty quick because it's going to be expensive for the body i'm sure right it's going to be probably 40 or 50 bucks then the tires that's going to be another how much and i was like man i just spent that i could have got electronics got a whole another car i mean of course it's going to be you know another 200 bucks or whatever you know maybe a little bit less depending but i don't know another rt car so it's hard to it's hard to say. Nowhere, let's see here. Like, but uh, oh, there's nowhere, Jeff C, for you to go fast. So I'm right by a drag strip. Really, I'm not that far away from a drag strip. It's probably about 15 minutes away. 15, so it's not bad at all. Ah oh, man, it'd be pretty dope. My my mom was talking about. It's like, oh, you need to contact uh, Cletus McFarlane at his uh. Uh, factor uh, the freedom uh, <laughs> the what is that the freedom factory uh, yeah he's in Bradenton now he's gonna move the shop probably soon so he's on 49th he's not I mean he's on 49th basically off of it which is again 15 minutes away from me if anybody knows who Cletus Cletus McFarlane is but uh, I love his show it's awesome freedom yeah the freedom factory exactly um I'm just like man I'm envious of that guy because, I mean, he's just doing cool stuff like that. I'm like, oh, man, all the cars. I mean, it's a lot of work. He's got the right people. I mean, he's got a great team as far as when it comes to it, too. I mean, it's just, um, I like it. I'm like, man, I wish I knew that dude, like, as far as just, like, oh, man, all the cars and stuff like that. But I thought one of his guys, like, I remember when I watched this. was I've watched him for a few years now. Yeah, it's been at least two years, maybe a little bit longer now. Uh, you know him? Yeah. <laughs> Martin, you know him? You know Cletus? I don't know what his real name is, to be honest with you. I'm not 100% sure on it. I think I've heard it once before. But I was almost going to order one of his t-shirts because I'm like, oh, I'd like to kind of support that little deal as well. Uh, the Freedom Factory. So I was like, I was thinking about the black t-shirt or something like that. Got to run. Been fun. All right, man. Scottzilla, appreciate you stopping in, man. Have a good day. So, yeah, that's kind of where that'd be kind of cool as far as when it comes to um, the Freedom Factory. That's going to just be big, man. I, when he's going to do his, his event down at the end of the end of the year, too. I mean, if you guys are watching him or whatever, you, or if you don't, you'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, back to RC cars, because I don't know what you're talking about as far as this Cletus McFarlane guy. But anyway, yeah. So, yeah, that's that. But, yeah, even on to the RC stuff, anyhow... Um, yeah, I mean, even doing the drag, the dragster and stuff like that, I could definitely see myself doing some different videos with it anyhow. I'd like to get another friend or something so we could actually kind of drag race together. Um, or get some, meet some other people that are into, you know, drag racing. Like, oh, yeah, I'm a, I got a car. Because, I mean, the only thing is, like, depends on how quick their car is or if it's not going to be any competition, you know, for me. Or for, I should say for them, if they're too fast. Like, if they have a four-wheel drive car or something like that, it's like, well, it's going to smoke this two-wheel drive dragster. So then we have to do something different. Um, but, you know, other other things I want to do this year, too, is, like, let's hit that 100-mile-an-hour mark. That's going to be, like, another goal that I want to do. So we'll see. I've been, I was looking at some cars, uh, kind of trying to get some ideas to what I want to use to uh, go hit that speed. So that's another thing I'm kind of looking at. So we'll have to see in regards to that uh you know either if i'm going to go with something heavy like this then i'm going to put more power to it uh you know better electronics in there more or less and let it rip that way 
or uh, you know go something lighter and let it scream that you know I'm gonna do four wheel drive I just it's gonna be more control so I wouldn't do a two wheel drive car that just seems super sketchy at that speed I mean but the 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 rustler was one of the things but I'm not doing a rustler speed I mean everybody's done that so I want something else uh, do a monster truck 100 mile an hour monster truck <laughs> that'd be funny not gonna happen that aerodynamics and <laughs> it wouldn't even get up. I don't think I can even get that thing to 30 miles an hour before it just flip over. But yeah, but I, that's one of the other challenges I want to do. <clears throat> the other thing, get rid of the uh, HPI racing jump shot. That's got to go. So that'll be up once I can get the parts in stock. So hopefully we can get that. I'll sell that one. I, I thought about the, uh, the Hoonigan Mustang. I, I was thinking about getting one of those. I was like, oh, kind of can drift it and kind of, um, it's kind of cool. But it sits so low to the ground. That's the other thing I'm kind of skeptic on. Like if I really want to um, get a car that's low to that, even though I'm looking at another car that is low to the ground too. But I don't know if it's really what I'm wanting. So we'll have to see. I just wanted something unique. And the car that I'm looking at is kind of pretty unique to the RC world. So, I like it. So, we'll have to see in regards to that one. But anyway, um, let's see. Anybody else have any questions, comments, or anything like that before I head out of here? I think I'm going to, I think it's already five, you know, after five o'clock anyhow. So, everybody's kind of rushing home or whatever or trying to get home. So, we'll have to see about that one. But yeah, leave a comment down below, even if it's uh, after the video too, like something that you want to see on the channel, you already watched it, you're like, hey, I want to throw my own input in there, definitely throw it in there and let me know what you guys were thinking. Like even when I asked about the Team Corrali stuff, like no one, I really got mostly crickets on that one, like it wasn't really an interest. So that's a good thing, I mean, that I didn't buy one. If it's not going to be one of those things like really like, eh, only 219 for me. Um, what was that? Two hundred nineteen dollars for what? What were we talking? Two nineteen. What was that on uh, Martin that you were talking about? The two nineteen? Oh, it's only time. Okay, I thought you meant like two hundred nineteen dollars. I was like, what's two hundred nineteen dollars? <laughs> but it's only two nineteen where you're at. I gotcha, gotcha. The Mad Van. Oh, right on. Yeah. So you want like the Mad Van? I just sold the uh, the Rage 2.0. Actually, I didn't really. I mean, like the body on it was like, eh, it was okay. I mean, I didn't mind it really too much. It's not as good as like the first original Rage. Like that one had a little bit more style to it. But uh, if I would have kept it, it would have been the same price as me buying another. I don't know. So yeah, I mean the Mad Van. I have to think about it. Kind of like the cars, but the Mad Van might be all right. Well, I, I mean, a lot of people kind of liking the Mad Van. It's interesting too, so I should do like the Mad Van and then have the theme of my shirt looking like that whole retro doing the video. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. But I, yeah, I guess that's kind of the one thing that people are really kind of liking the Mad Van. I mean, I, when it first came out, I was like, that's cool. When are you getting that? Brand new, and then I'm not going to be able to get to it until when? <laughs> In a few months, I get like, oh, okay. Like I've kind of moved past it. It's 420 here. Oh, no. Jeff C., what are you going to do? <laughs> I got 421. No, it's at 521 now. Jeff's going to do something. Got to hurry up then. So, yeah, I'm not... Damn. The feedback, I need to get... Somehow I got to get that. I got to get more feedback. Because I know like some of you guys... They're like, oh, yeah, we want to talk. We want to da 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 da. We'll see what's all going on. And, but yeah, I definitely like the uh, like feedback when it comes to, but if you, no one says nothing, then it's more or less like that I know that, well, I don't really care about it. So don't do it. Get something else. I'm prepping dinner. Oh, you're, you're preparing dinner right now, Jeff C. Right on. What are you making? Let me guess. Tacos. Yeah. Cutting up lettuce right now for your tacos. Jeff, you should go walk up to the camera. Jeff, what are you making? Prepping dinner. Um, so, 
Yeah, I'm gonna. Get... Okay, so the monster truck too. So even we have the monster truck, which is the uh, Super Cloud Buster, the black edition of it. It's supposed to be out this month, ending in February. So I'm hoping. Uh, I don't know how this budget's gonna work. Like I need to really pick like one or two cars, and I've already kind of like picked more than that. So definitely check out omgrc.com for your hobby goodness because the more you buy, then that means the more I can buy. <laughs> like no, but uh, I got paid bills with that money too. Doing the black beans and rice with a uh, shredded chicken. Ooh, that sounds good, man. I like that. No tacos today. Okay. All right, man. Martin, see you later, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Appreciate the conversation. All right, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump out of here as well so you guys can, because uh, of the time and everything like that, too. Um, but, yeah, I might do a Wednesday, but if I don't, then I'll be here on Friday so you guys can check this out. Maybe I'll have my logo going on my, my monitor back here and then some other stuff, possibly. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to uh, smash that like button before you leave, and don't forget to uh, smash that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified when we go live. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching, as always. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank you again for watching. Peace. Got a phone call an hour ago. Oh, yeah, Jeff C. Thank you. I appreciate it. All these notifications are popping up. <laughs> oh, what? What the? All right. Peace, guys.